Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hello and welcome to the and this is my weight loss journey. I <laughs> uh, am doing calorie counting with each check and I, yeah. So, I was using another video yesterday, I just couldn't focus yesterday um, because I was worried about Louis. Um, touch wood, he wasn't sick last night so let's hope he um, is okay today um, not yet and this evening um, yeah I was completely focused yesterday I did track my calories yesterday but I did go over by 115 yesterday um, I did nip out with my friend Kirsty just for a little catch up and I did nip into Aldi and I do want to show you I picked up some of the skincare but um, I actually need to do, I've done, I've washed my face and I've used one of my cleansing wipes to wipe my face but I haven't done anything else skincare wise this morning so I kind of wanted to show you them before I do the rest of my skincare because I'm potentially going to try one or two things today but um, Abby chance? is in bed um, so yeah it's currently 10 past 9, just made my breakfast Usual breakfast, it's been, it is three wheat, wheat biscuits again with strawberries and blueberries. But I did pick up a couple of the strawberry protein yogurts from Aldi yesterday, so I've just used one of those because I've used the other ones. And uh, da -da -da, breakfast is just need to amend the weight of my strawberries, it's 427 calories. So, obviously, you can see the difference between the different protein yogurts, um, but I'm happy to spend the calories on them. So I'm going to go have that, I need to change my battery and hopefully I'll come back later with more food, what we're doing today, hopefully my mini little skincare haul from Aldi and anything else that I do today. Hey guys, if I pop on, it is half 12, 25 to 1, so I'm going to put a little bit of skincare on because we're popping out in an hour, hour and a half. Um, I thought I'd go and collect something from the works and Louis has actually been out and um, he's actually fi hopefully fingers crossed been better today so um, I'm going to take him out and get him a little treat and things so I thought I'd show you the uh, skincare that I picked up in Aldi yesterday and then I'm going to do my little skincare that I'm going to put on today maybe try a couple of these um, see how they feel so yeah I'll get into the stuff I got in Aldi yesterday um, first of all, I picked up this. I might keep this for, it does say you can use it daily, um, but I might, I might try it today. I might see how it feels a good, um, comparing it to my normal moisturiser, but it's their, like, skin bath products of, under the brand Locura. And this is the Illuminating Priming Moisturiser. So daily moisturiser infused with superfoods. I'm not sure if this is a dupe for something, it might be, but um, I'm not really too clued up on the dupes at the moment. But yeah, it just says apply with fingertips to a freshly cleansed face and then can be fully absorbed. Can be used every morning. It's a 50ml bottle. Um, I don't have the receipt, but I think it was about two to three pounds. Um, so if I got that on, I might actually try that today and see how it fares against my normal daily moisturiser. 
Secondly, um, I have been trying to find, well, I haven't actively been trying, but I want to try and find an eye cream. Um, also, I've got like eye gel patches and stuff, but I want to try and fit in like an eye cream in my daily routine that I'm trying to build. So I saw this one, obviously, it says it says Moo actually on it, and it's obviously the Lacura Q10 Renew Anti Wrinkle Eye Cream, and it's got, um, I think it says it with hyaluronic acid and obviously other bits that are helpful, are helpful for your eyes. Um, it does actually say on these like what age range you should be using them, but um, everyone ages differently. Apply daily mornings and evenings and gently pat a small amount around the eyes. So I'm definitely going to try that today. So I've got that. I think that was a bit more. That was around three to four pound, I think, but still much cheaper than like other products. Um, and finally, I actually bought these due to inspiration over from Nikki because I wanted to try and find like a day cream if I didn't want to do like everything at once. This could just be something to put on after I've like cleansed and toned my skin, and then this could just be like a day cream just for something quick. Um, these were three ninety nine each, I think. Uh, so I got the day cream, anti wrinkle, hydrating and firming day cream. Um, so again, obviously just um, applying like you would with any other cream. So I got the day cream. It's got SPF thirty in it, and then because I wanted to do something before I go to bed, I normally just like use one of my cleansing wipes wipe my face and I haven't got anything to put on at night time so I think you can use it says to do the eye cream at night as well so these might be my kind of night time things to do before bed so I picked up the uh, night cream and some wrinkle hydrating and firming um, so we shall see how they go um, but yeah so what I think I'm going to do is going to do my toner i know someone said not to use toner but i only use this simple one and it does say where is it I'm sure it says it's like okay for skin obviously but yeah i just i've been using this like all like ever since i started to try and make a skincare routine and it does i feel like it is helping my face so i just sorry about that we thought it was okay and then he's just been sick, so definitely take me to the doctors tomorrow. Um, anyway, this I've been using this since I started using my skincare routine or started to build one, and I think it just prepares your skin for any other products that you're putting on. So I don't know if we're going to be going out now because our skin is poorly still, but um, we don't understand why. Everyone I've asked advice for has said it could be a bug, but surely if he had a bug, he'd be like constantly sick, but he's only been like sick like once, maybe like twice in a day. So we have no idea. But um, yeah, it's very, I find, I'm finding it very odd. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's just the toner, and then. I would put my normally put my daily moisturizer on, but I'm not going to use that one today. I'm going to use this priming one. See how that goes. See what this looks like. Oh, very posh. So it looks like this. I'm hoping you can see because I've got my glasses on. And let's see what it says on the bottle. I've got the directions. Like so, open all day. I'll shake it. <laughs> so that's like, oh, okay. It looks like it could be like a foundation color because that's what um, colors come out when. I've squeezed it, so 
this could be something perfect for, like I said, when I'm wearing makeup. It has got a smell, like a scent to it. I hope I've rubbed it in. I'll check when I put my glasses back on. So it's a completely different texture to, like, I'm guessing a normal moisturiser. So, yeah, so that is that one. I don't know if you can um, tell any difference. So I wouldn't, I'm guessing you could put your normal moisturiser on and then put this over the top. Um, but yeah, I feel like it has got a little tint to it just from it being on my fingers so I might use that one when I retry it I might put this still put this on and then put this on afterwards if I want to make up so that is that one uh, next yeah I don't know if you can really tell what it's on unless I need to put more on but um next I'm going to try the eye cream um, yeah, we'll try the eye cream and see how that goes. So, just need a little dab. So that is what the eye cream looks like out the box. I'm hoping it's focusing. Massaging it in. Gotta be careful not to get it actually in my eye. It does feel a bit claggy at the moment, but obviously it will dry. So that's the eye cream. <clears throat> it says for all skin types as well. So I'm going to put them back in the boxes so no. And then we've got the day cream. I don't need to try the night cream yet. Oh, excuse me. Pop that over there for now. And let's open this one up. Very bougie. I'll have to get like some sort of organisation going on my bedside table soon for skincare so I know what I'm doing when. So this is how it comes. Obviously if you saw Nikki Swank you would have seen this already. So it's a 50ml pot. This is the day cream. Um, yeah, this one's got a pink tint to it as well, so I don't know if it's got, oh okay, that's what it looks like on, oh, it looks pinker, kind of like a pink tint in the um, pot, so I'm just doing it how I would with like, my moisturiser. So, <clears throat> yeah, literally, it feels like it says, it might feel like a little bit like sun cream, I think. Um, but, it's a day cream. Um, just making sure I rub it all in, even though I'm doing this blind. <laughs> Yeah, it does feel a bit like sun cream texture, a little bit, but once it's rubbed in, it doesn't feel like greasy or anything. So, there's a slight smell, but it smells like kind of the sun cream smell. So, that is the day cream. Let me wipe my hands. 
soon off, so I'll be doing that every day. I also don't know whether to like pick up another one when I can because obviously it's I don't know if it's going to be an Aldi forever. So that is the day cream. Dry my hands on my top. <laughs> there we go, clicks. So yeah, that's the day cream. Obviously tomorrow I'll let you know what the texture is like from the night cream. Well, I could technically open it now and let you know. I might quickly do that actually just so we can see if there's any difference in texture. But again, all anti furring vibrating, anti wrinkle um, properties. And again, yeah, I'll have to def definitely keep these in their boxes or keep them separate because they look exactly the same except they do have night cream on. And this one looks like that. So that one's a bit of a lighter feel. I just dabbed a bit on my hand, wrist, not my hand. Yeah, that one's a bit more of a lighter texture when you rub it on, so that one shouldn't feel as heavy, I don't think. But yeah, so that's the night cream. Obviously, I'll let you know how we get on with that one for bedtime. Um, let's pop that over there for now because I don't need that yet. The day cream's done. I might still put my, even though this has got SPF 30 in it, I might still keep putting this on just so I'm in that routine of putting it on. Uh, so this is just the Primark Moisturising Serum. Like I said, SPF 30. And I've done that, so I know I've done it. Just so I'm in the routine of I know what I've put on. But this feels really nice on the skin. Like, I think it gives me a little bit of a glow. It's got obviously moisturising and it's got SPF 30 in it. So yeah, and then lastly, without blinding myself, I put on the Vitamin C uh, Reviving Face Mist. Take the glasses off. I still manage to get it near my eye every single time. <laughs> and that is my kind of basic skincare at the moment until I know any more or learn any more about what I should be doing, what I should be putting on. But, like I said, obviously I'm fairly new. Obviously I've got quite a few things that are, should help my skin because obviously I haven't looked after it, I'm quite new. So, obviously I'll let you know how I feel my skin looks. I should have took a before photo really. Um, where's my phone? Um, I might even take like a before photo and then maybe do one in like a month or so's time just to see if there's any difference. But yeah, so that is my Audi skin skincare haul. Um, I'm actually going to go and have a Greg sausage roll because I picked up a Too Good To Go bag yesterday and I'm going to have that for my lunch. So I'll put the calories at the bottom of the screen for the Greg sausage roll and I'll come back to you in a bit with... I don't know what to do now because I don't think we're going out because of what's just happened to Louie. But um, yeah, so I will speak to you in a bit. Hi guys, so it's now Monday. It's Monday the 29th of January. So Lily is off school for one more day, fingers crossed. Um, again, touch with he's been okay this morning, but things could change. Just making sure he's alright. <laughs> um, and doctors, and they just said, what have you been basically doing? I give him clear fluid, so he's actually going to be like drinking water at the moment, so um, um, that's all good. Uh, just uh, making my breakfast, it's now half nine. Um, so, 
so yeah, thank you for all your kind well wishes um, about Louis, um, uh, bits and bobs. Um, this might just be a few days vlog just to kind of catch up with things. Um, so yeah, I hope you don't mind that. Do a bit of a longer video to watch, I suppose. So I'm just making my breakfast, just my usual eat biscuits, fruit, yogurt. The only difference this time is I didn't have as much strawberries, so. Uh, it's 418 calories altogether. You okay? Yeah. Louis just been um, watching Andy's prehistoric adventures, aren't you? Do you like your prehistoric animals? Um, so yeah, just been doing that. Yes. I have weighed, so I will try to do ah, weighed up today. So um, so yeah, it's my challenge. So I challenge has gone as well as I would like this first week, but so you can't predict these things. And yeah, so hopefully I can get back into a swing of it um, tomorrow. I might even try and pop out tomorrow because. I know we still got stuff in from the meals that we haven't eaten this week, but it's kind of, I need to get a few things for myself, like fruit, um, I'm moving out of uh, berries, um, even just kind of maybe me checking what I've got that I have used and haven't used, just so I can make a meal plan out of that. Um, but yeah, so touch wood, Louis is okay today. And we can slowly start introducing food. He has had some. You okay. <laughs> I worry when it goes quiet. Um, he has had some toggle toast this morning, and he managed to eat some crackers yesterday. Just like plain crackers. So all being well, we are hopefully on the road to getting better. But like I said, he's. Finding himself, he hasn't had a temperature, he's just done that, like, been sick, and that's it. So, and it's only been like once or twice, like I've said. Um, so, I don't know. <laughs> but, um, they won't see you at the doctors unless the person who is ill has like temperature and other symptoms with the vomiting. So, um, just essentially gave me advice over the phone. And it did say when I was on the triage this morning that they have reduced face-to-face face -face appointments quite significantly. So I don't know what that means, whether there's staffing issues or what, but yeah. So I'm going to go eat my breakfast, usual breakfast. 418 calories, it is three wheat biscuits with the blue beans and strawberries and algae protein yogurt. That was my last one, so like I said, tomorrow I might try and pop out, I might try and go to algae again to get the protein yogurts and that because I do really like how these ones are they're lower in calories so yeah so I'm gonna go have that catch up on some YouTube and have a good day today so I'll speak to you then hi guys so before I pop on because as I said earlier I have managed to weigh today so I'm hoping to get, still get back on track I'm still a bit like um, I don't know how to continue with the exercise challenge because I've missed two, what, well, yeah, essentially two to three days of like not doing the challenge properly. Um, so let me know in the comments what you think I should do. Should I just do a generic getting, um, like kind of just following my plan, or should I do a strict challenge, or should I just do making sure I'm doing an exercise routine each day or something like that because I did download an app which is called Just Fit and um, let me get up with this. you do I think you can pay for it but you get um, the little um, exercise routines on there so I was thinking of maybe trying that um, see how I get on. They're only like little 10 to 15 minute exercise workouts. There's a couple down further in that get to like 20 minutes and then there's some 30 minute ones. So this might be a good way to ease myself in. Obviously it won't be like full blown like the get through the rigs 
I still would like to try and do, so I've got itchy hand, um, I still would like to try and do, um, get fit with Rick, but um, obviously I just need to maybe just be a bit more organised. I know it's been a bit chaotic this week, obviously with Louis being unwell, but um, touch wood, he's been okay so far this morning. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Uh, hold on one sec. Sorry about that, it's just a reply to a message. So, like I said, this week has been the latest, but obviously we didn't know that Louis was well. We didn't know Louis was going to be unwell all week. Um, things we'll see, I'd have to focus on him. Um, but, so, yeah, obviously that, I tried sticking with calories. The only day I went over was Saturday and uh, Sunday. I might have had a couple of more snacks than usual because I was still like, not fully like in the zone with like trying to focus but um i have managed to burn over just the 200 calories to burn goal apart from yesterday because my watch was on charge for half the morning so it didn't count obviously everything that i did um however i have lost one pound this week so i'm very very happy with that because i had i maintained obviously last week so yeah, I think it's week three, week three weigh in. So I'm a total, um, a total, <laughs> a total loss of five pounds, and I'm sixteen zone four. So slowly getting there. Um, but I'm hoping once Louis goes back to school, I can get into a bit more of my routine again. Like I said, I think I'm going to try and pop out tomorrow just to get a couple of bits, and I might do a bit of meal prep tomorrow um, to help with um, just making it a bit easier for myself, um, check in obviously what's got left from the shopping um, and just kind of making a bit more effort, obviously we didn't have many of the meals I planned last week so hopefully I can still um, use the bits and bobs I've got to make a meal plan out of and then just get things to top up. So yeah. One pound off this week, and I did my skincare this morning. I used the Aldi creams, and they do actually feel really nice. They really do like soak into the skin. Um, I just got to be careful when I put the eye cream on, not to put it too close to my eyes. Um, but other than that, they're feeling really good so far. I did the night cream when I went to bed last night, and that felt really nice when I put that on. That was really light. So yeah, overall, I've enjoyed the Aldi. Um, day and night creams and eye cream the eye cream is really nice but i just need to remember not to put it like too close to the eye and when i rub it it gets like obviously in the eye <laughs> um so yeah that's going to be my way and update i am just going to do a little bit of um filming for tiktok and then maybe look at having some lunch not sure what i'm going to have but it'll be on track might even do like the chicken and rice kind of dish tonight because where they said obviously to give Louis like bland food of the rice should be okay I think um just plain rice which he likes um and just some plain chicken maybe for him um I was gonna maybe do myself like some sweet chili chicken with some like like golden vegetable rice and tender stem broccoli Adam can have Nando's like I said I was going to do when I did the shopping haul so I might do that for tea because it's something that we can all have. Um, so yeah, that is the plan. And I'll come back to you with my lunch very shortly. 